Hi all, Ashley here. Hope you're doing well. Today I wanted to share some of the recent projects I've been making. All of these are now listed in my shop, so I will leave a link to that in the description bar below. And then um, also a lot of these projects are made using Scrap Diva, di Scrap Diva Design dies. Um, and I do have a discount code for that, Ashley10. And so I'll leave that information as well linked down below. But um, for now, let's just dive into it. So this is one of those projects I made using a die. And this is the tiny 3D vial box die set. And I just think it came out so adorable with a little bow and then perfect for housing some of those big beads. Um, and I used a Maggie Holmes paper collection for this with some gold accents. So that's this first project. This next one, this one is using um, another one of the dies, 3D gift box die. That's the front of this. Um, and I did some embellishing on the front cover. Um, and then in the inside, I added in some, some tags. I kind of shared a sneak peek of this before, but I've embellished it a little bit further. So use some chipboard as a charm here. Um, just to add that little strawberry piece. And then I made a little shaker Polaroid. And then I have my tag set. I'll flip through this kind of quick because I've, like I mentioned, shared this one before. But um, just added in a few extra touches since the last time I showed this one. But that's this project. And then I made a ton of tiny little things that um, small little envelopes are coming from this 3D box. Um, it's called A2 Gift Box. And there's this little um, envelope and page die pieces within that larger die set. And so I made a ton of little embellishments. Um, and let me just kind of put all of them forward here. So I made them in my three favorite colors, pink, mint, light blue. And then um, I embellished them with a few different ways. So a lot of the green and blue ones have this, like just some like Maggie Holmes puffy stickers on here with those embellishments. I did some of those in pink too, but then I've been sharing like haul videos of me hauling these nail stickers um, and this is an example of me using them. So instead of like using the sticker on a nail, I just use it as a tiny embellishment. And I think it comes out absolutely adorable. Um, and then another version of the pink one was me using these like little bunnies. The tiny bunnies are also for your nails, but yeah, those are from other like hauls I've done and I am loving using them. And I also got this one where I added a little butterfly charm, some flowers. So yeah, a bunch of different versions of those. And then um, I also made, using the postage stamp die that came from a previous die set, I made these shaker stamps and I love how these came out. This one, um, the die I used was the star nesting die set, and I used the smallest little star that you get in that set to turn this into a little shaker. And then I added some seed beads in there. And look at how adorable that came out. Um, I made four of these, but I've already used some of them in another project you'll see. So, um, but yeah, I just love stamps as an embellishment in general. I love that kind of. Yeah, the love the look of that. So um, that's that one. And then, so I was making all these little embellishments and another die that I recently got was the shopping bag. Um, it's called, it's called Rainbow Shopping Bag. And so I made this little bag and I thought it'd be fun to have it house a bunch of little embellishments. So it's like you're shopping for little embellishments. And this project, like I mentioned, this I did list in my shop. But I used a 
glitter rosette that I have my stash and then some these are actually Felicity Jane embellishments this butterfly this little chipboard flare piece um, and then tied some ribbon just to the front two holes I didn't have it go all the way back here just so I could stuff a bunch of stuff in here and then inside I've got a set of the pink envelopes got a larger set of mini envelopes they're still mini but they're just slightly less mini um and then I've got these little flag embellishments there's a little bunny and owl really adorable um and then this last one I just stuck these three frames on an acetate sheet in the back but they're individual um individual film strips and the back of the film strip I added some acetate and then added some clear stickers so it's like the see-through look I think it's very cute so yeah that's what's in my shopping bag so this is sad for now um one other thing that I made using the star nesting set was this tag, these tags. I made them a few of them, and again, I'll show them the other ones that I've already used, but here's this standalone one that I haven't used in another larger project yet. And I love how this came out. So this star background is actually another die. Um, the star slimline card die. And I just cut it up into a tag shape um, just freehanded that part and then added a little backing to it um, as you can see in kind of this coral peachy color and then just embellished and then did a little offsetting of the star outline and then the star backing and then just embellished and I love how it looks so that's this tag one other project I made whoops is this adorable trio of houses. It's got this clear cover that just pops right off with a little fox and then some embellishments all around. And, and then inside, it's just this little box that holds these four little houses and they're little milk, milk carton boxes. So it's just like a little gift set and I think it came out so, so cute. Um, I love the shape of just little houses. It also could be like little shops too, just really, really cute. So yeah, I embellished again. Um, this is also using Maggie Homes. I think so far, um, if I didn't mention what collection it is, most of this is um, old Maggie Homes stuff that I'm trying to use up here. Um, that I just have, I have a bunch of my stash. So try to get some good use out of that. And yeah, used a bunch of puffy stickers and clear stickers, especially trying to use up my clear stickers as well. So um, that's that little project. Okay, and then I have some mini albums. Let's start with the Disney one. So this is, this one actually now I'm using a doodle book collection. Um, this is called Funny in the Park from Doodlebug. This is a die here, and this is a um, Doodle Pop. The die is called Mouse Bow Die, I think. Let me check. Yeah, Mouse Bow Small, actually. Mouse Bow Small um, is this mouse shape and the bow. And then I have some ribbon here tying this shut, and then you open it up, and there's an accor accordion fold in the center. And again, another one of these mask bow dies and then another doodle pop in here too. Really love how this page came out. Really fun shaker doodle pop. Um, and then, like I mentioned, it's an accordion fold, so you just flip through. I love how this spread came out. Just a bunch of shaker bits in here and then tons of tiny little Disney icons from this collection, the mini sticker set. Um, really, really cute. And then some more like castle and tickets images. 
this opens and this is just like a little tag pull out here from one of the tag pages from the collection. And then it flips this way as well. It's a little traveling. This is a little belly band with some inserts. And again, a bunch of the tiny icons. And then here I get, I'm using a, another one of the star dies. This is the fringe star bundle. And these pages flip open. And again, using a lot of the mini icons, like this little mini train from Doodlebug. Very, very cute. And another one of these tags that this also opens the same way as the other side. And then some more tags here just to have a repeating pattern. So that's this album. And then the next album is this one. I love how this one came out. I think it's just so beautiful. Um, it's got a really fun little tassel here on the side. It's just a bunch of fun little uh, wire wrap beads and charms, and it's just clipped on so you can remove it if you wanted to got two um, signatures to it that are attached using elastic binding and then it's got this really pretty cover. This is a die here too, um, the hexagon um, honeycomb slimline card die set. Um, and yeah, and then this is just like chipboard from Maggie Holmes. Really pretty. Really pretty cover. Uh, and then it opens up like so. And then there's a bunch of interactive elements. So this first piece is a little envelope. And then here is another one of those tags that I had made. Same as that coral one I showed before. And then this flips open some, I'll just, and then here I've used that little stamp I put it on both sides of this page. Little pom-pom here, some interactive pieces here that come out of this pocket. And then um, more of this fringe to start die and then some shaker mix in here. Another small little envelope. Um, I think this page is really cute. Just like a folded up, um, like accordion fold page and then added just these little pieces all across. For some little delicate touches, a blue version of that tag. And then um, another pocket here, another fold out element, and then another shaker page. And here I use some of those envelopes just on the corner there. Um, I love how those little mini um, embellishments are so easy to add to larger projects. But um, yeah, that is everything I have to share for now. So um, I hope you liked checking out some of the things I've been making recently and hope you like and subscribe and leave a comment down below and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye!